Hi, bestie feels. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back, back to my channel, channel Ticking Together. Together. Just a disclaimer, this video is slightly chaotic because my cousin Ariana and I were just having some fun while having a conversation about Tourette's. Proceed with caution low. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette's, Tourette's Syndrome. syndrome. Hi guys, it's been a while. Bestie boos! This is my bestie boo! My bestie boo! This is my cousin Ariana. She's been in a few of my past videos. Ugh! And you guys really seem to enjoy her, and I love her. So we thought, why not bring her back as a highly requested Ariana Q&A video? Ugh. Um, Stormy Baby. <laughs> Stormy Baby. Oh, it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> We're gonna do a video today. If you guys haven't seen my first video with Ariana, she is now 11. Last year she was 10. Shocker. Last year, I mean in March. March? What did she mean in May? Your birthday's in May. <laughs> She's 11 now. Last year she was 10. Shocker. <laughs> my um, um, I have been her cousin for my lifetime. <laughs> you mean for <laughs> my lifetime? <laughs> No, you're keeping that in. <laughs> I have been her cousin <laughs> for her. <laughs> I got rice for her lifetime, which is 11 years, as we as we said. So this is gonna, guys. If you're still watching, I'm so sorry. Okay. Anyways, she's 11, <laughs> and when she was 10, I told her for the first time that I have Tourette syndrome which is shocking. So I told her for the first time that I had Tourette's when I was, when I was 10? <laughs> Guys, this is stupid. I told her for the first time that I had Tourette's syndrome when she was 10 and I was 23, I think. And she didn't know her whole life because as you guys know, I suppress, I'm highly medicated and I try and act normal in public because I'm terrified of the stigma that surrounds Tourette's syndrome. So I told Ariana last year, I was like, yo, gotta tell you something to girl <laughs> and she's like oh my gosh what I went I was gonna like that it was and she was like what do you have to tell me and I was like I gotta tell you this sis and I told her and she was like no just kidding she really didn't care she was really supportive and you can you can talk about it what else is there to say <laughs> um, I don't know I was so nervous my voice was quivering I was like Ariana I have something to tell you that I've been what, my what do you think I was gonna be like you I don't like you anymore. like ew friends off <laughs> yeah so anyways like you're not the person I like anymore like like mm -hmm. I, I liked you but now I just can't tolerate you <laughs> so the point of this video we gotta get into the point, guys. <laughs> We're gonna do a Tourette's Q&A where Ariana asks me some questions that she's thought of herself. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ariana's gonna ask me some questions about Tourette's syndrome. And then she's gonna ask me a bit. And then I'm gonna ask her some questions about what she knows about Tourette's and we're gonna quiz each other. This is gonna be a Q and Z. Q and quiz. Cause Q and A is overrated. <laughs> overrated? <laughs> Stormy baby. <laughs> I got rice. Okay. Ugh. Let's get into the Q's and the Z's. When the seas, baby. <laughs> but whatever. I got rice. Freaking. Um. So. Ugh. Ready. When I asked you in that first video of us about Tourette syndrome, to this day, I want to know what do you know about Tourette's as an 11-year-old? I know quite a lot. Actually, I don't. That's why. Oh. <laughs> I know some. What would you say you know? that it's something in your brain, right? Yeah, that's right. And I follow some people that have it. Oh, who? Evie Meg, and there's a guy, but I can't remember his name. I love Evie Meg. Evie Meg, if you ever see this, we love you. We, you slay. You slay, girl. <laughs> slay, girl, slay. Um, so you know that it's a brain thing. Yeah. And you obviously know about ticks. Yeah. There's both motor and vocal ticks. Yeah. Yeah. I have both yeah. of them. You know the drill. Yeah. Um, so when you were you first introduced to Tourette's on TikTok or have you seen it before that? Yeah, mainly on TikTok. Yeah. But like I think I know someone else who has Tourette's, but I don't know who. But anyways, yeah. I mainly heard it on TikTok and TikTok can be educational. 
It can. TikTok can be really educational. Your TikTok is educational. Thank you. I love TikTok. But it can also, TikTok can also be really toxic. Yeah. Um, Especially like haters that say that you fake. I get so many fake claiming comments every day like you're a fraud and I'm like why would I fake a neurological disorder like also that like ticks I have and found roses, girl. oh my gosh ticks and roses yeah ticks and roses we you've seen the videos on them they are oof, doozy and a half um we don't talk about ticks and roses actually we do we talk about them way too much people on TikTok do fake though yeah so it's not good like the um the itty Trend that was going around. That was horrible. And you guys know my thoughts on that. Like that's just honestly so. At the start of this year. I know. A couple people in my class started doing it, and I was like, ah, oh, no, you cannot do this. And my best friend, like I obviously told her about like you, mm -hmm. and she like yelled at them. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. So and yeah. then they like stopped. So, so like, what do you think about? Cause like. And this might just be a really conceited question of me to ask, but like, when I told you that I had Tourette's, like, what were your thoughts? Like, were you kind of, like, did you know at all? No. No, yeah. Um, I was like, hmm, cool, cool. That's a good reaction. Cool. I mean, there shouldn't really be like a grandiose reaction. Yeah, like, anyway. oh my gosh. No, you, no way! You have tits? I do! Oh my God. <laughs> Like, it wasn't like that at all. It wasn't like that. It was literally just like, I was telling her something like a, in a heart to heart, but- um, I was kind of like, oh, you do? Yeah, it was kind of like, cause I think she, I think you were more like taken aback because you didn't know. Yeah. And so it was kind of like someone being like, I have whatever. And you're like, really? I didn't know that. But it was just, it was good because like, I finally got it off my chest. Um, did it yeah. even make comment? She on? did. I saw it. Yeah, Evie like, made comments. <laughs> We need to break to all my friends about that. You should. Because <laughs> they like Evie Megs. I'm just going to be like, yeah, you know Evie Meg? She knows me. Because she commented on my cousin's YouTube channel in a video that I was in. So, slay. <laughs> slay girl slay. Slay girl slay. I got rice. Don't make that. Ari's going to ask me some questions. Um. So, when did you know you? When did I know? Yeah. Okay. Or so, like, like when did they start? Good question. So I, it's kind of like a weird story because my mom noticed that I had ticks when I was like three or four. Really? Yeah. So I would have a tick where when I walk, I would like kick my legs, lift my legs, do weird things with my legs. And auntie and was like, mm -hmm. that looks like a tick. And my mom was like, hmm. And so we didn't really think much of it, um, but they 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 thought it was ticks at three. So my mom noticed it around three or four, and then um, so it, it's kind of a funny story because the ticks technically started at around three, but then at around ten I started having a lot more ticks that were like blinking my eyes, scrunching my nose, the normal kind of Tourette stuff. And then from there, at twelve I was diagnosed, but from ten to twelve was when like puberty kind of set in. And with puberty, ticks can get more and more and more, especially in, well, boys and girls, but um, it kind of develops at different times for different people. So 12 was when I was diagnosed and I kind of was kind of like, whoa, this is weird. Um, but from then I've just had ticks ever since. So kind of my whole life. What's your least favorite tick that you do? Oh, my least favorite tick would probably be there's so many that I hate, honestly, and it's like, that's hard to say, but I think my punching tick is the worst, where I punch either my head, that's not my head, my head, my chest, my neck, or my stomach, where I just like full, uh, full force do this, um, cause it hurts, sometimes it like leaves bruises, and I had to buy like a helmet for my head, cause I was really? hit, yeah, like a padded helmet, cause I've been like in tick attacks, I like boo 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 boo, and then I like get migraines and concussions, so it kind of sucks. So I would say the, the ticks that hurt me physically to myself are the worst. So definitely the punching tick is my least favorite. But I also hate the tick where I flip people where I flip people off and give people the middle finger. You do that? Yeah. Especially in my videos. Like I'll just be sitting there and then I'll just have the middle finger tick and I'll be like, that's embarrassing. Was anyone least supportive? Like not supportive. Was anyone not supportive? That's a really good question. I just and thought of that right now. Honestly, and this is kind of hard to say and hard to admit because it's really changed, but at the beginning, my parents weren't that supportive. Really? 
Yeah, but it's like they weren't like not supportive. They were just very uncomfortable around the Tourette's diagnosis. Really? And Why? they still kind of are just because they don't like seeing me tick. So you'll notice when I'm with them, I rarely tick. I'll do my subtle ticks like my butt cheek tensing or my finger wiggling or a few like neck jerks. But honestly, like as much as I love my parents, they've supported me so much. But with the ticks in general, they hate them. And they're like, can you, they, they do sometimes encourage suppression, which hurts. And I'm not sure, like, please don't come for them in the comments. They are the best parents. It's just seeing your child suffer with something that they literally can't control takes a toll on you mentally. And so they're like, how can I help my daughter when realistically there's nothing they could do? So they felt very helpless. And so it's hard to say, but they weren't that, like they're supportive, but they were very like judgy about it at the beginning because they didn't want people to know that I had Tourette's. Um, we didn't tell a lot of the family because it was just something that was so taboo and kind of like stigmatized. Like there was a lot of like negative stuff around it. So I'd say them. And then I never really told any of my friends, so I don't really have any, any um, stuff to say about that. But I guess my parents, while they were the most supportive, they were also the least supportive, if that makes sense. That was a really good question. I wanted to talk about because Tourette's is a neurological disorder, so it's not a mental health issue, it's very different, but there are a lot of mental health issues that are comorbid with Tourette's, which means I deal with a lot of other issues. Um, I have depression, anxiety, OCD, ADHD, and a lot of other things, but I wanted to talk to Ariana quickly just about like worries, because I know, and this is a little bit of a different topic, but I know that being a young person in today's age is very stressful so like how do you deal with like your your kind of like obviously i'm not saying oh you have anxiety or so like i'm not saying that but like i just want to talk about like how you as a person like navigate through being young in this culture especially with tiktok and stuff like how do you deal with it i listen to my music yeah and I tell my mom about it, and then she helps me. That's really good. Or my friends, they help me a lot. I had a panic attack at school, like two, like in grade four, and I had one in grade five, and my best friend helped me through all of it, so it was really good. Yeah, that's horrible. And I've talked about this in previous videos, but I wanted to bring this up one more time. Like you, you've had legitimate panic attacks, and like I have legitimate Tourette's, but there's so many people online who like make it into a trend. It's so annoying. So like, how do you, like, cause we're t like two different things here, panic attack versus Tourette's, but I've also had panic attacks, but like, what is it? How do you, like, why is, how does that make you feel when people are just faking something you literally deal with every day? Like not every day, but on the daily basis, like. It gets me so angry and I don't stay calm. I'll, I'll roast them in the comments. You'll roast them in the comments? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like fakers- And my in, friends will too. Fakers okay. in any way, shape or form are just brutal. So, um, yeah. But that's the end of this Q&A. We just asked a few questions to each other about Tourette's syndrome, but we're also gonna do a cousin tag. So stay tuned. It's not gonna be super Tourette's related, but I know a lot of you guys have said, hey, we wanna see more about my life as well as Ariana. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below saying hi. <laughs> Tell me what you'd like to see in future videos. I got rice. Mm. And please subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell to stay tuned to all of my content. I post about Tourette's syndrome awareness as well as some of my life stories of someone who has Tourette's and was diagnosed at 12. As always, we are learning together, we're laughing together, and we're and ticking we're together. together. Bye. Bye! Bye, bestie boo! Bye, bestie boo!